in the realm of the spirit. And they were asking, what is this? And they said, they said this stone we are seeing is the word of the Lord. Not by power, nor by might. But by my spirit, says the Lord. What's that mountain before Zerubbabel? It shall become a plain. Zerubbabel has laid the foundation of this house. And they shall bring forth their headstones and capstones with shouts, proclamations of grace, grace. Oh, the Bible did not say they wrote it on the contraption. They didn't write it like this is the word. They didn't write They said that contraption is the word of the Lord. Amen. You see that menorah, and you see the oil speaking from the menorah. Then you see in Revelation chapter 1, you see Jesus Christ standing in the middle of the seven burning lamb stands again. And then from there, he's speaking to John and bringing the book of Revelation and unlocking the seals. God didn't stand on the pulpit. He stood in a contraption of the spirit. And Paul says that we are a body in Ephesians 4 orchestrated from the head. It sounds like tsunami. But the word is tsunami. Lego. Tsunami is frames, contraptions, arrangements. Lego is where you get logos. Contractions that speak. We have platforms for speaking. But right now, God is looking for his contractions. Where declarations will be made and say, not by power. What is that mountain? Before Zerubbabel, it shall become a plain. If you are here, say so. And tell you now, if it doesn't fill the context, we will be looking for the word. must know their gate. This is also the time that the watch man who have known their gates will be rewarded with the activation of contraptions, mechanisms and machineries in the realm of the spirit. Mechanisms that speak and not just speak but bring the word of the Lord to pass. Scrolls and activating prophecies to come to pass. He said to him that your prayers and your heart, your arms, the bowl of incense in heaven is full now. Prayer is in measures, not just in points. Do you know? We pray with prayer points, and that's great. But in heaven, they have bowls or sensors that they turn people's prayers into until it is full. Amen. What we are looking at here is the consummation of a prayer journey. Not just the fulfillment of a prayer point. And many of my children right now are now reaching tipping point of their prayer journeys. Their prayer journeys are a lead Gracious, sweet smelling servant of God's mysteries because of the sacrifices, the goodness, the offerings that they have given to praise the heart of God. The reward was the activation of 
divine contraptions. They said in the beginning that this man was in Caesarea. And later, the angel came and appeared to him and said, Send to God. The next thing that you're looking at is an alignment of territories. Pastor Ryan said, This is the highest point in Nigeria, and you have come because of a summoning. What we are watching is angelic mapping of territories. Because you see, Jopa or Jaffa or modern day Haifa port is on the same coastline with Caesarea. On the same coastline with Tyr and Sidon. According to the territorial map. It was from Jerusalem that Simon Peter, being imprisoned by Herod, escaped to Caesarea. From Jerusalem. And then Herod in pursuit of Peter and in a bid to reconcile the region of Tyre and Sidon crossed through Caesarea to make a speech where he was declared God and an angel smote him. The only way all of these activities are along the same coastline. And probably the same set of angelic forces were at work. Because the angel opened the gate for Peter to come out. The angel smote Herod, the intimidator, the dictator that wanted to wipe out the advance of Christianity. You will see our alignment again. We will come up and then we begin to have meetings that are not just gatherings and conferences, but alignments into heaven's territory, heavenly mappings of earthly regions. You begin to see the forming of a contraption, of a machinery, of a crafting that God can speak through and fulfill prophecy through. They said your prayers and your arms has come up from your mother. Somebody gave a word and said the book of remembrance is open. When we say my word, if you check the Greek word here in your, in your lexicon Bible, you will see that it's the book of remembrance that they were actually talking about. And the Bible says in Malachi 3 16 about the same thing that God has feared the Lord, spoke of one word to another, and the Lord heard it and what was open. When we have real meetings that take fulfillment, not just prophecies. We have meetings that 